fascination and I guess a feeling of pride just in my collection and how I keep them and also a feeling of accomplishment when everything is how I want it to be. Pretty much I'm always impressed when I'm up here just looking at them. When I'm doing like maintenance and snake chores and whatnot, it relieves my stress, takes my mind off things when I don't want to be thinking about other things. The animals have given me something that I could spend my time on simply for the purpose of I enjoy it and I like doing it. And it's just something that I could do strictly for myself, for my own enjoyment here at home. I was also able to meet good people and develop friendships along the way through this mutual hobby that I would have never been able to do otherwise. I keep emeralds solely at, at this point because they're hands down my favorite species. The pattern, their size is impressive. The shape of their heads are really cool. Just their behavior is inquisitive and I can't speak for every emerald, but all of mine are chill. I don't have to worry about getting bit. Their husbandry requirements are super low maintenance, so they fit into my lifestyle and the, the time I have available. They make great display animals, and I guess the biggest reason why I keep the species is just they look awesome, and I'm always impressed, and I'm always fascinated. At this point, I consider myself an average keeper, so I'm not really too concerned about leaving a legacy or anything like that. However, I do believe that there's a misconception that emeralds are hard to keep, prone to health issues, aggressive, which is not the case. With wildcaught imports, that's usually the case. With captive born and bred emeralds, it's a completely different experience, which has been completely enjoyable for my part. And I found them easy to keep, low maintenance, and I would hope that more people will be aware of that and be able to enjoy keeping them as much as I do.